Okay, so as we've just seen, if someone has a good eye, they have a special ability to notice or recognize a particular thing or quality, like having a good eye for a bargain or a good eye for some nice clothes for somebody and so on. All right, and then the server says, that's our new clam pasta. So clams are a type of seafood that we have, and we have this in Taiwan as well. Some dishes you can make with clams are clam chowder, which is like a soup uh, with a thicker texture. Mm -hmm. Costco has a really famous clam chowder. Okay, and they come in this, they've got shells, don't they, your clams? Yeah, and it opens up, sometimes there's really small ones, mm -hmm. big clams. Yeah, some of them, I always think of a clams as being the quite small ones. Ah, and then they have this dish here where they have clam soup with like a some kind of melon. Yeah, and some really ginger in mm, maybe, okay. So good. All right, so that was the clam part, the other part was the pasta. Now, pasta is any kind of food, a lot of different kinds of food made from wheat flour and water, sometimes eggs. Now it's hard, but if you cook it for about 10 minutes in boiling water or something else, it gets soft and a bit more chewy and you can eat it. So there are lots of different types of pasta. You've got spaghetti, which is the long one. You have the one that's kind of like a little bow tie, the penne, which is like a little tube. You have lasagna sheets of pasta, which are the flat ones. All different types, but it's all the same ingredients that go to make them. Oh, I love all of them. All right, so then the server says you can enjoy it with either tomato, pesto, or cream sauce. So these are uh, combinations or three different options that you can choose from, different flavors of pasta. So when we say either A, B, or C, this is an idiom or phrase that's used to describe three different options or when you need to make a selection. For example, you could say, I'd like to get some ice cream. I don't know what to choose from, but I probably get either chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry. Which one would you pick? Out of those, probably the strawberry but I would really hope they had like a coconut one or another nut one. Those are the kind of ice creams I like. How about you? I would like, oh, I really like sorbet. Okay. Italian, kind of like ice cream, kind of like mm. a slushy. Nice. Berry flavor. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay, so we have three choices there. We have the tomato one, that's pretty easy sauce, a cream sauce, and a pesto sauce. Now, pesto is a green sauce, and it's made when you mix up uh, basil, garlic, olive oil, pine nuts, and a special kind of cheese called parmesan. And you kind of mix all that up and you get this green sauce. So if you see people eating a green pasta, that's pesto. Yeah. Basil is like one of the key ingredients in Italian food. Mm -hmm. uh, in Taiwan, they have a Taiwanese basil, which is sometimes they put it in, you know, those damping. Yep. Yeah, and that's pretty good too, and I yeah. know some people grow their own basil. That's right, a Jotun Thai, I think is yeah. the, how you say it. Jotun okay, like Thai. nine tower basil. Exactly. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so then Cindy says, that sounds good. So she likes the idea of this pasta. So the server then says, trust me, our chef worked a long time to get this dish right. So there he's talking about the chef. Now the reason he's doing this is to make the dish sound even more interesting. Norm Fancy. Yeah, normally you wouldn't say, oh, I'll, you know, let me tell you about the dish and the chef. But here he's really trying to sell this dish and make sure Cindy gets it. So he talks about the chef. Chef is a job, it's a professional cook who usually works in a really fancy restaurant. If you cook at home, we don't really call you a chef, but we might say you're a good cook. But if your job is making food, you work in a restaurant, we'd call you a chef. Here's an example sentence. Andre learned how to become a chef at a school in France. And then if you're really good, you can be on shows like Master Chef. Exactly. All right, and so the server says, he only uses quality ingredients from Italy and makes each sauce fresh every day. So here we talk about ingredients. This is a noun. Ingredients are raw materials that are used to prepare different types of food. So an example sentence is, I'm missing a couple of ingredients for the birthday cake. Will you please come to the supermarket with me to get them? So with these ingredients, we're probably thinking the sauce maybe comes from Italy, the pasta comes from there, a few other things as well. So all of this sounds really good to Cindy. So she says, okay, 
I'll try the clam pasta with pesto sauce. And then the server says, would you like to add a soup to your entree? All right, so we have this word entree. It's kind of an interesting word. It doesn't really sound like English. It means the main course or the biggest portion or the main part of the meal. So basically you have an entree, the big thing, and before that you have appetizers, and after that you can have some dessert. Okay, now the server has asked if she'd like a soup and then actually suggests a soup, maybe one that will go well with the clam pasta. This is the whole idea of the server trying to make more money for the restaurant by making the choices sound good. So he says, today's soup is cream of wild mushroom. Ooh, so that this, sounds good. Yeah, this is mushrooms that aren't grown on a farm, they're picked in the forest, and it's cream, which means they've all kind of been chopped up and blended together, so you don't see lumps of mushroom, it's just a kind of very sort of whitish, creamy, very rich soup. And then Cindy says, I'll take a bowl, that sounds tasty. So it's worked. This kind of idea of the server kind of selling this stuff has actually helped her buy some more tasty food, so it's made money. Now, let's move on to John. He is the other guest, the other customer in this restaurant. And he's been looking at the menu and he says, this new Kobe beef dish is something that appeals more to me. So he's looking at the beef steak dish or something like that. And he said it appeals to him. If something appeals to you, it is attractive or it's interesting to you. You kind of want to know more about it or if it's food, you want to eat it. Here's an example sentence. I, went, I want to see this movie. It looks funny and comedies really appeal to me. Wow, and that Kobe beef sounds really good to me too. So then the server says, that would be an excellent choice. We import the beef from Japan just for this dish. So Kobe is this place in Japan, and to import, the verb, means to buy a product from another country and then bring it to your own. So we have a lot of examples of imported food in Taiwan. Pat, what do you know that's really good that's imported? Imported. Um... I have to think, but I often look for British stuff that's imported mm. just because I miss my home. There's some, some biscuits, uh, McVitie's biscuits I sometimes get, especially if I have a bit of an uncomfortable stomach because those biscuits, they're like hard cookies. They're good for settling the stomach and they do come from England. They are imported. All right, so the example sentence here says, we import a large number of cars from Japan. Ah, there we go. Okay, so again, the server is telling John and Cindy more about this food to make it sound more interesting to make sure they buy it. So the server has already told them where it comes from and then adds, what's more, our chef travels to Japan regularly to study Kobe beef dishes and improve his cooking techniques. Okay, so here we're talking about techniques. The chef is learning cooking techniques. Techniques are a specific way of doing something that accomplishes or completes a task. So with cooking techniques, you could be talking about the best way to cut the food, to cook it, to prepare it, to make it taste good. We could also talk about other kinds of techniques. As in this example, the art teacher taught his students a number of different painting techniques. So then the server says, honestly, that's a hot menu item. Pat, what's a hot menu item? Well, I presume it means it's served very hot to the touch, but I don't think I'm quite right there. So when we use something's really hot, we can say that the temperature's really hot, but you know, we've always heard, this person's really hot. Oh. Ooh, what does that mean? This well, means... If someone's really hot, that means they're very attractive, they're beautiful or handsome. Now here with the food, what we mean is it's popular. If something is a hot menu item, it's very popular, a lot of people are ordering it, a lot of people want to eat it, maybe because it's new or maybe because it's famous. If you think of a lot of restaurants in Taiwan, they're often famous for a certain kind of food. Oh, the stinky tofu there is so good, the beef noodles there are so good. They are the hot menu items. And often in menus, they'll put the little mark next to them saying like, you know, restaurant specialty or chef special. Yeah. And that kind of gets people to buy them and eat them as well. They're all ways to sell more stuff. But again, it is working because John, who was thinking about the Kobe beef, hearing about it has made up his mind. He says, I'll have that then. He definitely wants that beef. 
And then so the server says, well, would you like to add an additional salad to the dish? An optional salad. Oh, sorry, optional.、Mm. And the word optional it means. This is a choice. It's not required, but you can add it as an addition if you want to. So that's the word optional, not required, but a choice. Okay. So the server, he hasn't finished selling his stuff yet because he said an optional side dish. So you could have one. You don't have to. But he's talking about this salad and said that's the traditional side for Kobe beef or Kobe beef. So here, side just means side dish in this context. But what he's doing, he's talking about. Well, if you went to Japan, you went to Kobe, and you got this dish, they would give you a salad. That's the best way to eat it. So it's another way of kind of working on the customer's mind and going, oh, then I should get that too because that's the right way to eat it. And maybe it's the way it's going to taste the best. But of course, for the restaurant, it also means they sell an extra salad. So of course, then John buys that, and、mm -hmm. he says, yes, please. All right. The server then says. Great choices. We'll have those dishes out to you right away. Now the server says "we'll" here. We will because he's not just talking about him. He's talking about the chefs, the people in the kitchen. Everybody's going to get everything together so they can all bring the dishes to them as soon as possible. And he's going to go back knowing he's done a good job. He's made sure he sold two things, but he sold the two extra dishes as well: the soup. And the salad, so he's made that extra bit of money for the restaurant tonight because he took the time to talk with these people and tell them all about the dishes they were going to be eating, where they were from, how best to eat them, made them sound really tasty, and so of course the customers were like, "All right, we'll do what you say." And that's something that do you do you often listen to the waiter when he does that, or do you kind of go, "I know what you're doing here." I'll just buy what I want to buy. I always listen to the waiter's recommendations because I feel like when you go to a restaurant and those people have worked there for a long time, I'd like to know what their personal favorite is.、Mm -hmm. So I might say, okay, so these are the specials, but what do you like out of these two? What about、yeah. you? I sometimes do that. Again, as the vegetarian eater, I don't do that as much. Because I tend to stick, but if it's new, I'll sometimes ask. So maybe just like, how should it be served? Like, if it's a kind of tea or something with spice, like how spicy would you have it in that country? Because that's、yeah. how I want to taste yeah, it. Yeah, authentic. I, yeah, I want it to taste like it does if I actually went there.、Yeah. Okay, that brings us to the end of this part of the article. We're going to go now to today's for you chat question.